in this module we would continue with the, the determination of the fee card fee in the context of islamic credit card now i used an example which was very prohibitive in terms of the amount of fee i mentioned in that example that the annual fee charged by a provider of an islamic credit card in the uae could be 2000 or 20000 dirham of course look at this was an exaggerated example in actual practice the fee is determined through an actuarial process the card providers they would take the services or they would get the benefits of services of some actuaries and they would tell uh, what should be the amount of the fee it depends on a number of factors but the card usage by the card holder and the behavior of card holders this ma uh, matter uh, this matters a lot in this process let us see how the fee could be determined uh, in an islamic uh, credit card framework you know i refer to actuarial process what does this mean among other things this means that if i am applying for a credit card facility the credit card company would pass on my information they ask me a lot of things about my identity about my income about my expenses and so on so i have got my profile stored somewhere so the credit card provider instantly okay once my application is uh, submitted they would give my profile to a specialist company and they would come up with their observations on me so basically uh, to keep the thing simple for your understanding they would tell the actuarial company would tell the credit card company that this guy humayun dar if he had this credit card for one year he would be spending he would be using credit facility of say 1000 dirhams only for 100 days not for 365 days so based on this information credit card company would come up with the, the price murabha price in that tawarruk arrangement which ultimately becomes a basis for determination of the fee if a person called humayun dar applies for a credit card and the research company comes back that this guy is going to utilize 100000 dirhams worth of credit facility for 100 days over a period of 365 days then this formula if 20% is the return the credit card provider is looking for so they would use this formula 20% multiplied with 100 divided by 365 and this amount 100000 dirhams so that would give the murabha price of 5479.45 that amount would be used in the tawarruk transaction the card provider would buy the commodity x from the market from commodity broker 1 for 100000 dirhams and would sell it on to me humayun dar for 105.5000 dirhams on a deferred payment basis i would sell this amount uh, this uh, commodity 400k to commodity broker 2 and this would actually give me 100000 dirhams worth of credit facility with an annual card fee of 5479 dirhams which is quite reasonable given that this would amount to a fee of slightly over 450 dirhams per month and even this figure might sound quite 
um, significant to many of you, but we would look into this thing in more detail to let you know that actually this is quite reasonable if uh, this is applicable to an average user of an Islamic credit card.